I've been asked to come here today to help them with a procedure that could be simple or could be very tricky. We're hoping to put a contraceptive implant into one of their Sumatran tigers, Sinta. So who's this one here? This is our boy Jalua. So this is our patient's brother? Patient's brother, yes. And let me guess, the fact that they're brother and sister is the reason they need the contraception. Yes, they're both six years of age, so they are sexually mature. So because they are siblings, we need to make sure that Cinta remains up to date with her contraceptive implant. The important thing about Cinta is she is a breeding female, but she's in an enclosure with her brother. So we need to make sure those genes don't combine together, otherwise there's a serious risk of birth defects. So she is currently Tucked away? Yes, so she's away in her den facility at the moment because that's where we'll be doing the procedure. With Cinta already locked away in her den, in many respects the clock is already ticking. Because the longer she's kept in that den, the more stress she builds up and that stress is going to be the enemy. It'll send her body temperature sky high. We have to get moving right now. This is Dr. Michael Cannon. How are you, Mike? Chris, how are you? It's good to see you again. Good to see you again as well. Mike used to be one of my lecturers at uni. I wasn't exactly the best student. I'm just hoping he doesn't remember that. The pressure is on Chris and Mike. Cinta is such an important part of my life. Um, when we first worked with her, she was such a sensitive little girl and she's someone that we really had to work hard to create a bond so it's just made the bond that we have just so much more worthwhile just all the effort that we've put in just getting that relationship built up. I'm going to leave it to you guys to head in there so once she's darted if you could just let us know and then um, once you're ready for us to come on through just radio and let us know as well. Right, let's do it. Kylie's gone to the other end of the enclosure with good reason. For Kylie, her relationship with Cinta is critical. Everything they do on a day-to-day -day basis hinges on their being trust. If Cinta in any way associates Kylie with this dart, then that bond is broken and could be broken for life. It's easy, girl. It's all right, Cinta. At the Symbio Wildlife Park south of Sydney, Chris is about to sedate Sumatran tiger Cinta. The reason why we're darting Cinta is because she is a dangerous animal, so it is something that we do need a veterinarian to come in so everything's safe and the procedure can be carried out safely for both Cinta and us. Cinta needs a contraceptive implant, but the wily six-year-old knows something's up. It's easy, girl. It's all right, Cinta. The biggest concern when you're using a dart is the fact that you could actually lodge that dart in the wrong place. If I was to hit her abdomen with the dart, I could rupture an organ and ultimately kill her. There is periods of silence, which um, we're, we're hoping that they're able to dart her um, if she's giving them an option, but I'm um, feeling very anxious, very nervous at the moment. There we go. If you think you can take the shot, have a go. Now we're confident that the dart is in. The important thing right now is assessing just how deep under anaesthetic Cinta is. If she has had some anaesthetic but not quite enough, there is a chance she could be asleep, but the moment we touch her, she could wake up. If she does that, everyone's in danger. But if I just use this high-tech pole, quite ticklish around the ears there. At the Symbio Wildlife Park, Chris and the veterinary team have just sedated Cinta. So there's not much response there. It's a good sign that she is quite deep. Chris has to give the Sumatran tiger a contraceptive implant. But before the team can enter her enclosure, they need to make absolutely sure she's fully asleep. So we're getting some really positive signs right now that she is deep enough. We're getting a slowing down of the breathing and also there's no response when I tickle around her ears or her nose. So we're pretty confident she is deep enough for us to approach. The medical team can now enter Cinta's compound. We've got anywhere from between five minutes to half an hour. So fairly fixed pupils there. OK. When the time's up, though, the time's up. Right, yeah, we just need to get this front leg here. Oh, just hang on. OK. She's got a bit of weight behind her, doesn't she? Yeah, 90 kilos. 
any animal that goes under anaesthetic, of course, there's always risks. When you're doing it with a big cat, there's risk both for the animal and also for the staff involved as well. So extremely anxious, anything could go wrong at any time. The main point of, of today is to give her a contraceptive implant here. So this is just a, almost like a little bead that goes underneath the skin that slowly releases a, a hormone over the course of 12 months, which will ultimately suppress her, her from breeding. And we're gonna get, we're gonna get under the skin here. Okay, that's in. The implant procedure takes just seconds. Chris and Mike now need to carry out a full physical. Mike and I know the time is incredibly short here, so we're going to split our resources. Working from the back, it's clear that she's in good condition. She's got a nice mix of muscle and a body fat. Yeah, How are those teeth there, Mike? They're excellent. They're getting enough bones that, that are wearing it. There's no tartar forming there. There's no gingival recession. It, it looks beautiful. They're very impressive. Yes, but they very are. clean as well. Absolutely. Next is time to check Cinta's heart. Mike passes me the stethoscope, and very quickly I can hear her heart, big and booming. It sounds good, but all of a sudden... She's starting to wake up. OK, her heart rate has just quickened just a little bit. Too. Yes. She's got a little blink there. Yes, she's responding. The team is now at serious risk. So Sorry. she's starting to swallow, OK. All right, if we can start moving stuff out. Cinta is essentially in the twilight zone. She's not fully under anaesthetic, but she's not fully awake. At this stage, they are probably more dangerous than at any other time. We have to get moving right now. OK, everyone out. At Symbio Wildlife Park, Cinta the Sumatran tiger has begun to regain consciousness during a medical procedure. Oh, are we happy? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very quick on that little eye response there, the blink and then the swallow, Mike. So the procedure's gone well, but from now on it's not so much about our safety, it's all about hers. We need to ensure that she comes out of the anaesthetic fully and in a very calm and controlled way. With Cinta slowly becoming more alert, it's important for Keeper Kylie to leave the enclosure. My role is to step away from the situation. Uh, as she starts to wake up, I don't want her to see me and associating me with the vets and everything that has just happened. So I remove myself from everything that's happening. Easy, girl. Easy, Cinta. There we go. As a vet, you use a few landmarks to say, you know what, they are going to be OK after this anaesthetic. One important one is lifting the head. And Cinta's just done that. OK, she's looking relaxed. She's looking well. Better go and talk to the one that's probably not so relaxed. Yes, Kylie. I think Kylie, Kylie would really want to know what's going yeah. on. I'm extremely happy. I don't think it could have gone any better. Chris did a great job, a fantastic job. Here we go, slides up. OK, we're out. A few hours later, and Cinta is back in her enclosure with brother Jalua. Here she goes. Oh, girl, she's doing well. So that must be nice for you to see. Not only did she handle the procedure really well, but she's now eating. Yes. Can you relax now? Yes, yes. Yeah. It's a huge relief. Very good to see her as normal. Yeah. yeah. And one day, maybe, she might be part of that breeding program? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah she will be, just when a suitable partner comes comes about. That'll be really good to see her. She'll be a good mum. Overall, the procedure went really well today. Chris was fantastic. She got a clear bill of health. She had her implant, her vaccinations. She's happy. Everything's safe. It went really well. Oh, it's been a pleasure, so thank you. <laughs> no, thank you.